Dr. Shabinko, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, can you give us a little update about where we're at these days with sure. COVID? Yeah, so here in Mariposa County, we are at the lowest number of cases that we've had um, on a weekly basis since uh, late June, early July of 2021, um, before the Delta wave uh, and before the Omicron wave. And we really, you know, between those two waves, we didn't see uh, as sharp a decrease as we're seeing right now. And so um, today, you know, we've got one person in the hospital and only really a handful of active cases and no new cases uh, reported this morning. So I think realistically for um, the county of Mariposa, things are looking pretty good. Um, what I'm being mindful of and letting other people know about is, you know, we are concerned about this subvariant of Omicron called BA2 um, that has caused a surge in, in Europe, specifically England and Denmark, and also in uh, mainland China as well as Hong Kong, um, causing the most significant outbreaks that have occurred in, in Hong Kong since the beginning of the pandemic. And so um, we're in this phase uh, where here locally we're doing okay, but we have to be mindful about what's going on in the, in the rest of the world and see what, what evolves from the, the BA2 subvariant. We are seeing a slight uptick in cases in Southern California, Imperial San Diego counties, Los Angeles counties, but not yet an impact on the healthcare system. So again, that's what we'll be, be watching to see what happens. What about older people like myself? Uh, I've got a little bit of a heart condition and that sort of thing. Uh, shouldn't I be uh, more mindful of what's going on than yeah. maybe others? Yeah, definitely. Um, what we need to do is be able to, uh, yeah, what I told the board uh, with this last week was um, we need to be uh, mindful of individual risk and do individual risk assessment. Uh, we've kind of shifted gears uh, from where I have been strongly recommending wearing of masks in the community. What I think of when I say strongly recommended is you're taking community action for community protection um, and kind of downgraded that to recommended, which I see as taking an individual action for individual protection based on your own risk assessment. So if like yourself, you have an underlying medical condition that puts you at higher risk, masking may make sense. Or if you take care of a loved one who's at increased risk, again, masking may make sense to reduce that risk to either yourself or to that individual. And then what I'd ask the community as a large is respect individuals' choices at this point to mask or not mask, um, because we do have that low prevalence. Um, it is an opportunity uh, for us to relax that a little bit. Um, but again, be mindful that things may get worse and we may need to all uh, go back to wearing masks and doing those other non-pharmaceutical interventions that reduce transmission. How are you doing personally? Personally, doing okay. I think this again is it's a it's a it's a good time to take a little bit of downtime. Um, uh, yeah, those of you who know me, I'm a volunteer firefighter, so I spent a week down at Fresno City College taking a refresher course on engine operations. Um, and then a team of us are actually going to a conference next week in Atlanta on public health emergency preparedness. And uh, myself, Dr. Allen, and uh, Andy Carter, uh, the three of us are presenting uh, a paper about our response here in in uh, Yosemite and the uh, surrounding counties during the pandemic. So that's exciting that we're, we're getting out and we're also uh, telling people what uh, a great place Mariposa is. Well, I really appreciate your little update this morning. You and uh, you stay safe out there. You bet. Hey, one last thing I will add is that yesterday uh, the FDA, without a meeting of their Vaccine and Related Biological Products Advisory Committee, or VRPAC, went ahead and approved uh, a fourth dose, or a booster, uh, a second booster, if you will, uh, for those who are older than 50, and then also uh, for those who are younger than that, who have underlying medical conditions uh, that lead them to be immunocompromised. So uh, pay attention to the news. Uh, that may be something that's been, that will, uh, will be a, a, a guidance from the CDC on probably within the next week or so. And so uh, 
looking forward to that guidance on uh, if and when uh, a second booster dose will be uh, will be recommended. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good day.